What's good people? I'm currently on vacation in India so I decided to come to Bombay to meet my friend Sean. This guy is one of Bollywood's or Bombay's hottest stylists and makeup artists. He works with all of the big celebrities and he promised me to show me around. Sean also just started his YouTube channel. It's sick. Sean, what is it about? It's all about Bollywood films and dreams and my life a little bit. What a makeup artist goes through every day in Bollywood. This guy deals with Bollywood's biggest stars. If you are interested in the hottest Bollywood girls, women, actresses, models, check out his channel. It's lit. Are we taking a rickshaw? We are taking a rickshaw. All right, nice. Are, I have to show him what real Bombay is because at award functions and all, he's going to see all the big class. So I think right now he should see what real Bombay is and then see the other side. All right, let's right? hit it, man. Hello. Let's go. Boom, let's go. Whoop. In the rickshaw right now, cray cray, the beamer life, not even Shaba. Just left the rickshaw. We were in that thing for about 20 minutes. Probably rode about six kilometers, five, six kilometers. And we paid less than a pound, less than a euro, less than a dollar. Probably like 50 cents of a dollar. It's crazy. And now we're gonna get on a local train because that's the thing to do in Bombay because there's always traffic. And I hear they get real packed. It's not rush hour, so let's see what's gonna be like. We're on our way to Kalaba, which is in South Bombay. So in the car, this journey would have taken us two hours. And the train ride is going to be 45 minutes. Even though this is like the city center where we are right now. It's not like we're in the suburbia. Like yeah, this is where it's happening. It's crazy. Everything. Bombay is huge for us. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I prefer traveling on the Bombay railway system. Because in London, it's always going to be warm. Regardless in the, in the winter or summer, you're going to be sweating. Doors here are always open, which is cool because you get a fresh breathe and it feels like you have AC on non-stop. Boom. I love this. This is what's good. Traveling on the Lo Bombay railway system is what's good for sure. Are you happy, Jens? I'm super happy. More to see. Wait for the night. All right. Okay. Shaba. So we are in Kolaba Causeway and Sean is showing me Leopold's Cafe, which is super famous. It's one of the oldest cafes in the city. Um, unfortunately, they had a terrorist attack here a few years ago. And if you have read Shantaram, come check out this place because the book, they hang out here all the time. I'm not sure if you can actually see this, but they are, um, so the holes with the bullets, or well, the bullets came through at the terrorist attacks a couple years ago, they're still here. So have a look around. What is there? And there's two more in the ceiling over there. It's crazy. It's insane. I have no idea what's happening right now. Sean just told me to get in here. We're going on a horse riding trip. You can see all the flowers and the umbrella here. It looks like a thing that newlyweds do. And we're on this thing. I'm kind of feeling this. It's pretty sick. She was sitting right next to me on the plane. This guy was sitting right next to me on the plane to Bombay and I'm seeing her again. This is crazy. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? you exactly. I don't know why we're sitting in here, but man, this is insane. We're in a city with a population of 18 million and I'm seeing the girl who was sitting on the plane right next to me. Bye. My God, it's crazy, have, man. You have friends here. Small world. Huh? It's small world, small. man. Small world. All right, let's get off this Maserati. <laughs> Guys, the building right here is the Taj Hotel, the most famous and probably most expensive hotel in all of India. Look at the architecture. It's really cool. Very incredible. And right in front of the Taj Hotel, you have the Gateway of India which is the most famous monument in Bombay and was supposed to be like the first thing that people see when they come in 
on a boat. And as you can see, lots of like ferries and small boats and yachts. And I assume every once in a while, big cruise ships or other big ships arrive here as well. But it's really cool here. I really like it. Guys, I'm super excited. Guys, in Bombay, you get street space. chai everywhere. Street <laughs> chai everywhere. So it's people like walking around or on their bicycles and uh, they look like this. Ooh, amazing smell. Oh my Lord. If you're from London and you're seeing this in London and you've been to the shoe and had the chai, it's pretty good. But this shit here? Oh my lord. Mind blown. Mind blown. I think it also tastes slightly different to other chai in India I've had. I think Bombay chai is a little spicier. Oh man. Slightly sweet. You can taste the cardamom. Hey Sean, how much is this? It's two rupees. Two rupees per cup. Like two rupees is... God, I don't even know. Like the current rate is 100 rupees for a pound. Probably 70 rupees for a euro. So this is, we're talking about peanuts. This is so cheap and so good. Ridiculously tasty. If you come to Bombay, make sure you have street chai. It's ridiculous. So we are on uh, Kolaba Causeway. It's a cool place to do shopping. Lots of like small little stalls where you can buy bags, shoes, all sorts of different stuff. You'll find lots of these like mini stalls in Kolaba. Really cool. Check this out, double decker bus, just like in London. One thing I love about India, regardless of where you are, south or north, you'll find coconut water everywhere. This stuff you got for like 50p, 50 cents. Guys, this is so good. The real deal, man. Street food and street drinks in India. Bombay, I love you. This is super delish. It's the meat inside of the coconut. It has the texture of like raw fish, but it's really tasty and it's very healthy. Very, very healthy. How sick is this taxi? It's incredible. It's like old school. Apparently they only run around in like South Bombay. It's so cool. Sean, where are you taking me? To Padami. I smell food. Are we about to have food? It's one of the most oldest restaurants you can get in Bombay. It's yum, it's authentic, and it's yummy. Come. Tell me, why is this place so amazing? Because it's from 1946. It's one of the oldest sea kebabs restaurants and you get the really authentic taste. The street, Bombay street food. As Pete would say, Pete, if you're listening to this, crowds don't lie. There is a big line here. If you could smell this, it smells like shish kebab. You can smell like chapatis, rolls. Jesus. Well, what are these guys famous for? That's what I want. The kebabs. Sea kebabs. kebabs. Shish kebabs? Okay. Yes. So if you're a vegetarian, you can also come here and get the same deal this vegetarian option. Have a look around. It looks delicious. So this is the shish kebab. One thing I love about street food, it looks dirty. Dirty street food is the best street food. Can you see the grease? Can you see like the chili sauce or the chutney, whatever it is? The onions? All right. How is it? Shut up! Shut up! Thank you so much for showing me this place. Yen! I just love you, man. Stop talking to me. You eat it. I rate this place, man. Bade Mia. Best cheese kebab street food in Bombay. One thing I've learned from Sean is... Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I don't give two shits about like pedicures and manicures and like night creams and day creams and that kind of stuff. Also, I don't know anything about it. Sean swears on that kind of stuff and he says every single man should be doing it. What are your top three 
tips to make your face look good. Eat healthy, it's very very important. At least have a great juice in the morning which has all the colors, which means an apple, an orange, half lemon, carrot, like a detox juice. At least have two green teas a day. Make sure you guys don't eat extreme fatty food. And make sure that all your food have vitamin C in it so your skin will glow automatically. It seems like I need to go and get me some lotions. So maybe I'll do some shopping with Sean because to be honest, man, I don't use any of this stuff. You have to. Jens is good looking, but make sure you apply your sunscreen after you apply your day cream. So you're telling me people who live in countries or cities where you don't get too much sun should be using sunscreen? Everybody should use sunscreen. Even you get the rays which you get from your laptop are even harmful to your skin. Wow, okay. Good to know, man. Yes. Good to know. It's a must. I cannot, I cannot, I repeat, I cannot stress enough how overwhelmed and impressed I am with this city. It's a really cool place. This is the Pritvi Cafe, which is part of the Pritvi Theater, which seems to be the number one theater in the city when it comes to like really good shows and you want to see the best theater talent out there. Um, look at this venue. It looks really, really cool. They have like good food, at least that's what Sean says, and like really good drinks. So we're gonna go sit down and um, I don't think we're gonna have food, but we're definitely gonna have a drink. So I'm excited about that. The crazy part about this trip is, this city, Bombay, has insane extremes from like super rich to super poor, super modern to like super old school. And I've seen it all. I've taken the local train, I've had street food, I've been to the Film Fair Awards, I've been to a shooting with Jacqueline Fernandez, one of the biggest stars in the world, and by far like one of the biggest stars in Bollywood. So I'm super, super thankful that I was able to experience this. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you.